If you're watching this video, it's probably because you have the same problem that I have, which is your Audi TT rear lights no longer work properly. And when you remove the lights and take the plug off the electrical connection, you'll see why. And this is because the earth return terminal is unable to cope with the return current from all of the lamps. And over time, it just overheats and burns. And once that process is started, it accelerates to the point where it melts the plastic and you end up with a crispy bit of terminal which looks something like that. Uh, and then it's game over. I've seen various ingenious methods of fixing the problem online where people run separate wires externally and use uh, screws to the earth and so on. Uh, I've never really liked any of that. I'm not saying that the solution that I'm going to propose is a permanent fix, but if you want an OEM type fix without spending lots of money, then uh, you, could, you could try what I'm uh, going to propose in this video. So as you can see, there's a hole left where the plastic is burnt and the terminal that was in there was still electrically connected. It was corroded or burnt at the front, but it was still connected at the back. So what I've done is I've used a Dremel just to cut through the remainder of the, the bus bar, um, just using you know, a regular Dremel bit like that. And then what I've done is I've managed to source myself a range of these crimp terminals. So I've got uh, one like that. I've got a, a yellow crimp, so that'll take a larger wire. Um, and uh, yeah, various, various different ones. And I think there was a blue one as well. Anyway, so it was a case of trying to, to work out whether I could use any of these to, to effectively replace the burnt terminal. So I think I've done that. Um, I cut the insulation off, off one, and this is the one I've gone for. So I've crimped it on using a crimp tool. Um, the gauge of the wire is, is reasonably thick. It's similar to the one that's used for the earth wire on the car. Uh, also what I've done, if I show you the, the light fitting, um, you can actually get some solder to take. Now you may need to use some flux um, but I, I didn't scratch the surface or anything. I used a, a soldering iron with, with high power and a large bit, plenty of solder and some flux, and it seems to have taken some solder. So this is my plan. So my plan is to take this, fit it into the hole. I'm going to hold it in place with some epoxy resin because all it needs to do is to line up with the other terminals like that. And once it's held in position, the connector will, or the plug that goes on top of it will guide it into place, okay? And then with the other, other end of the wire, I'm just going to coil it neatly in behind here, solder it onto there. And then as you see, that will be my solution. Now that sort of fixes the light fitting reasonably well. The problem is the other side of the connector, the plug which is on the wiring harness, that is also burnt. Uh, in the short term, I'm just planning to clean the contacts so at least this works, but I think I'm going to replace the crimp terminal. You can buy them online. And uh, if I can find a part number, I'll leave the link in the description. And then you can uh, buy a replacement crimp, cut the old one off and uh, fit the new one. And at least it'll be back to where it was. It's not going to be uh, a permanent solution, it, it still runs the risk of burning again, but at least it looks a bit tidier. Um, I might have a better fix uh, in future, in which case I'll, I'll post another video. So I hope this helps you. So I've now finished the job. The terminal is epoxied in. I actually changed my mind in the end. I discarded the, the one where I'd cut the insulation off uh, because it was loose in the hole, so I actually used another crimp which had the insulation on and then when I crimped it down it, it, it was a much tighter fit into the hole and then you can see that's where I've soldered it on. That's a good joint with a nice thick cable and then that's what it looks like inside the connector. So I could fill the remnants of the hole with epoxy but it seems to have enough support so I might just leave it like that. Uh, also lines up, so I think it'll be okay. I'll give the, the other terminal in the plug a clean 
and that will just keep it going for the moment until I can come up with a better solution.